start, we always open up to the most high, right? You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's not of a dictatorship. It's not a cursing to anyone's God or anyone deity, okay? So when we summon the most high, it's whatever most high is to you. You know what I'm saying? But you know you can't get this far in life that you don't get thus far by yourself. Okay. You know what I mean? You had to depend on somebody or some higher power, okay? So whatever that higher power is you with is Allah, Jesus, whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, we're just saying, just know that you did need some kind of assistance to get this far, because you can't stop your heartbeat from moving, I mean from pumping. Right arm move, left arm move, run in one place, heart I'm going stop. to sleep too. Heart stop. It ain't listening to me, why? Because it's up on a divine order, you know what I mean? So, uh, and, and uh, you ain't calling no shots with your heart, even if you blow your head off, ain't no guarantee you're going to die. So we want to open up, we want to get in the cycle. We want to get in the cycle, right here. Quick thinking, fast moving. No, no, we need you, man. We need you in this circle. You bring your weed, it don't matter. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Right, right in the circle, right in the cycle. The run, Do you, can you remember the, uh, the Lord's Prayer? No. Can you open us up in a prayer? Just, just, you know, we're going, you know what's where I go to, huh? it don't matter. Cool. Respect. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us men here together today, Father. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping. All right, you can turn that way. Yeah. Turn that way. That's, That's what, what I was doing. That's what I was doing. All right. Turn that way. There you go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for now bringing you us together. You got to watch it. We got watching your back. They got you. I got him and they got me. So. As men, Lord, protect us. Let us do this to nourish our body and our spirits at the same time, Father. Protect us. Keep us, Father. We get this prayer to you in our faith. Amen. 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 Give us short. Give us short. Uh, I pray for God is in forgiveness. Amen. All right. All right. So when I say how the fruit feel, we talking about the fruit of knowledge, the fruit of wisdom, the fruit of the tree of the most high, okay? So when I say how the fruit feel, you say, fine, fine sir, because if we get into the habit of respecting one another, we won't get into the habit of disrespecting one another. So, how the fruit feel? Fine, fine sir. sir. Sound like a lion, man. How the fruit feel? Fine, fine sir. sir. Oh, man, that's still kind of low. How the fruit feel? Fine, fine, fine sir. sir. There you go. Now, we're going to open up with a, uh, you know how they do with a pledge for this owl. 13 greatest rules we're not asking for money for these training because it's going to be way more than this us out here especially on next week okay it's going to be way more we're going to be at Rolette Park next week and we're going to have these pledges when we open up and we're going to bear witness to the greatest rules and if you agree with them you'll know if you agree with them I'm pretty sure if I was a gambling man all y'all agree with it the first greatest rule these are the third BYC, which represents building your community of brave young champions. The 13 greatest rules. The first great rule is thought. Thought. The greatest thought is the supreme being. The greatest power is love. What's the greatest power? Love. love. The greatest weakness is lack of faith. What is the greatest weakness? Lack, lack of faith. faith. The greatest certainty is change. What is the greatest certainty? Change. The greatest sickness is fear. What is the greatest sickness? Fear. The greatest danger is ignorance. What's the greatest danger? Ignorance. The greatest force is truth. What is the greatest force? Truth. truth. The greatest time is now. What is the greatest time? Now. now. The greatest good is peace. What is the greatest good? Peace. The greatest blessing is understanding health and patience. Understanding health and patience. What is the greatest blessing? Understanding, understanding health and patience. patience. The greatest enemy is pride, egoism, and hate. What is the greatest enemy? Pride, pride egoism, pride, and hate. The greatest victory is self-control. If you don't control yourself, you give others the ability to control you. Okay? So the greatest victory is self-control. What is the greatest victory? Self-control. The greatest sin is lying. The greatest sin is lying. You can't be my brother if you're lying to me. You can't be my brother if you cheating me, robbing me, raping me, and disrespecting me, my family, or what so have you. The greatest sin is what? Lying. Lying. Okay. That is our first opening up. Now we have the seven G codes that we end at the end of our training. So at this time, we're going to move out. 
I'll be the point man, and you just follow in suit, and we always do things quick thinking, fast moving. Quick thinking, fast moving. Hands up. Stay on the ball of your toes, you'll be all right. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Stop in the middle. Breathe. Everybody stand on the line, make a line. Spread out. There you go. Make sure your toes are on the line. All right. Breathe in. Five seconds. Breathe out. Raise your hand a little bit and get your lungs right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five, 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 five. All right. Let me see how your boxing stand is. Okay, be right there. When I come back to you, I want you to put it back up, okay? Just getting a visual right now. Stand. What hand you in? Right. What hand you in? Right. Put it down. I'm going to come back to you. What hand you in? Right. What hand you in? Right. Right hand? Yes, sir. Okay, now. I'm gonna come down on this end, put you together. Understand, don't get offended. I'm not taking anything away from you. I'm actually building on top of what you have. And if what you have haven't been working for you, you yourself would destroy that building and recreate your style with what I'm gonna offer you, okay? But my intention is not to take away from something that is working. Because work is denoted by force x distance on an object that is not moving on its own. If I got a nail inside of a wood and I'm banging it and it's not going down, I'm defeating the person. That's an exertion of energy that is wasted. But if I'm hitting it and it's going down into the wood, that means I'm working. So if you got a style and you at least hitting the man, at least scoring some points, that means it's working. So I don't want to take that away from you. I just want to offer my skills to you and trust and believe what I offer you, you're going to perfect it and come back and give me something to perfect my st style of teaching as a teacher. Okay? How do you feel? Fine, Fine sir. sir. All right. Now, I want everybody to step up. You, you stay right here. Turn around, face him. You step out face him so you can see him you step out a little further face him so you can see him you step out a little stop right there boom right there okay now what hand you is right you're right handed okay now simultaneously you can say it at the same time or one at a time it don't matter all right he's right handed so what's wrong with his stance yeah his his power hand in the front okay there you go. If you can recognize your, this why I do this. So you can see the mirror of your mistakes if you're making the same. Okay? So now, real quick, put both of your feet on the line. 
going to give him a set, okay? He's a little taller, so he can't have a set like I would have, which is in, you know what I mean? So we're going to squat down. You give him the squat. All right, you got to go all the way down. So you, you can't squat, don't worry about it. We're going to go right, we're gonna go right, right here. You know how they used to do in football? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. He's going to go down, squat a little bit, squat a little bit. Pull as you can, pull as you can. That's what? Well. Okay, right there. Stay right there. I'm gonna put you together. Lock in, lock in. Okay. Now what, what I want you to do, I want you to step with your left foot. Just step and put your toe right here on mine. No, put your toe right. Your toe should be toe to toe. Okay, go back, go back again. Go back again. Okay. Toe to toe. Go. Go again. Leave it out there. Right. Right. I always want to be in the angle, okay? I never want to see your fists ball them up. Proper way to ball the fist up is right here. I want to never want. I never want to see them even. Okay? You're always in the angle. Stay right there. Purpose is, if you squared up, I got everything right here. If I get you in the angle, see? Here, boom. He's already set. The block is ribs. Boom. The dummy hand is already right there. Play with. It. Throw it. See? Power hand is in the back. Okay? So we're here. Stay right there. Put you together. Put your hand down. Have my eyes right here. Power right gonna come from here. 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 Okay? Since he's a little taller. I come up on you again, that's how your style should be. Right here. And since he's being kind of tall, and most of y'all tall, he can switch it up and get in the rocking chair. Right here. Okay? So his his defense would be more back, side, angle, like this up. See? Okay? Right there. Let me get those mitts over there. We only got the little mitts to work with, so rather than bring the mitts, Lou, you got to get on it. I'll charge you with Lou. All right? Yeah, man, that's the problem. Like five times. get the mitts, the little hand mitts. You think it's too wide, and we'll see will it work when you start sparring. I'm going to show you. I got to ask you, is you comfortable? That's, that was going to be the next stage. If you're comfortable, you got to go to the phase of setting you up in a different kind of way. Because you never want to be... All right. He asked the question, which is a legitimate question. Y'all get ready. Legitimate question. He said, do you think... So he's asking me, as a trainer, do I think it's a little too wide? So if he say, do you think it's a little too wide, that means he have an answer to how it should be. Show me how it should be. Still the same range. The reason you feel more comfortable is because you just position your foot, your feet. You see what I'm saying? You just position your feet, but you didn't go nothing for about an inch. In. Just, a, just a little bit. So that was going to be my next question. How you feel? Is you comfortable? And what I was going to do, that's why I got the mitts, I'll show you what I was going to do. And that's good. You reckon he recognized it before I could put them together. If you can recognize where you can get crashed in the rain before the trainer tell you what to do, then you good. Okay? Then I had to take a bunch off of the off of the trainer. You don't have to do as much. When I come, you ever you, you play football? You know how they go like this? Right, come to you, I want you to brace me. Just like your hand is. Like your hand was. Right. See how you... Open your hands. Like that. Open your hands. Right. You know how you play football. Right. You go like this here. Huh. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come to you. I want you to brace me. Keep me from coming, pushing you down. Okay? okay. Right. Push back and squat. But I want you to go in the sitting position. You're going to see what, what uh, the purpose was. You go. I don't want you to fall over. Okay. I want you to squat. Okay. Rush me. Yes, sir. They say that's too wide. Huh? That's my 
show you now. Let me bring this in. Watch this brush. Man. That's a too close. Come on. Right, see? Why? Okay. Squat. You gonna rush me? I'm gonna rush you, but I want you to sit on it. Okay. See, see the difference? Yes, see how you side on it? And you put pressure on that front leg. Right. And you squat it. See how that, that leg came up? Yes, Now, this is what I want you to do. Put your fist back up. Now, what I want to do, when I go this way, I want you to go here. Go that way, just go here. Now, this ain't always good. I'm going to show you why. When I walk this way, I want you to take that leg in the, to the back. Nope. Take that right back leg and swing it. Okay? Okay, gotcha. Keep the hand up. This ain't always good. I'm going to show you two ways to pivot. This to pivot is to get in position. Okay? Now walk around with me. See? This is almost not fighting. Then you got to position yourself to fight. You go that way. Not fighting. Then you got to position yourself to fight. Right. Now watch the difference. Go around. Fight. Go that way. See how I many I can get off? Just taking his right foot. See? Go that way. Go on circle. Go that way. See the difference? See the delay in contact? Yeah. All right. Get in the circle. Spend about another split second with you. Right here in the circle. Stay in the circle. That means in the circle, your back foot should be on this line right here. Never let your opponent get on the outside of that foot. He'll do your dirty. Okay? Get that up. Stay right there. Square up. Turn towards me. Your body. Your body. Right there. Keep that chin down. Keep that chin down. Back knee. Move that front knee. You got that jump rope? Get out of this circle. Give me at least 20 jump, jump ropes on the jump ropes. 20 jump ropes, brother Ken. That jump rope right back there. You'll be able to do it, Ken? Okay. All right. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. If you can't do that, then give me one. Just one good lap around here. A walk. Around the whole court? No. Just round, round this block. Around the whole court? No. No. Just I'm going to give you a little bit Oh, you're all right? Okay. You're good, then. You're good. Round it. All right. I don't want your right hand, okay? Now, set your set up. Ball the fist up. Get in the pocket. Got long arms. So that's, that could be nighttime or it could be a dummy. Yeah, you know? Okay. Get on that pivot. Pivot is here, just where your power coming in there. Like spraying. Okay. I want your right hand. Get that right hand off your, off your face. There you go. Turn it over. You're going like this here. Just turn it over. Breathe out your nose. Okay. Do a lot of bouncing. You ready? Come. There you go. There you go. Now, what I don't want, I don't want you here. See? I want you doing that. that. That's a person that's hitting. He anticipating the man hitting. That's good. But right now we're doing we're doing aggressiveness. Okay. Here. There you go, there you go, nephew. Turn it over, dude. turn it over. When you get back to the, uh, to your thing, turn it over. Go. Come on, brother Ken, you come back in. I want you to watch. 
Do anything you hear. Okay? Still on it. Don't never turn your chin to it. That's night night. Okay? And if you're gonna turn it, make sure that shoulder blocking that chin. <laughs> see? Every punch I throw, you're gonna see me, me, and, me, and, me blocking my chin. I know that's what he want. You wanna throw a hook? You wanna throw an uppercut? Overhand. Side. <laughs> see? Body. <laughs> Still here, digging. <laughs> See? Offense and defense at the same time. Offense, defense at the same time. Yeah. It's all about that and, and shooting in angles. <sighs> now, here shouldn't be there. Throw a punch straight down here like this here. Just lob it at my head with this hand. Look. See? Look. I'm throwing it. I'm out the way. Mine gonna hit. I'm gone. Then I shift. <laughs> See? Shift. He gonna switch and try to come around. <laughs> See, I'm walking him now. And when he try to turn back around, turn back around. He gonna try to turn this way to face me. Boom, overhand, right there. All right, let's, let's run through it. Let's get us a time check. Anybody got time on? Them? What time it is, God? Three twenty-two. Okay. Right, we we winding it down. Different angles. I ain't go here. I ain't go here. Okay? He went here. He moved. You got it. But you got to step to him, okay? Step to him. Step to him. One. One. Bring it back. One. Now, this is going on offense. I just want to get your jab down, Pat. Come on. Get that thumb in. One. There you go. You learned from last week, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody, everybody get a word. No, no, we good. I want y'all to watch. Give Brother Ken one. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Get a word. Get a word. Where you? Where you? Where you water? Go get it. Go get it. I'm going to want them to grab it. Now I want you to hydrate. It's the reason I have I have my feet like this. Yeah. Put that in your pocket right now. Yeah, your power leg always in the back. Okay, okay, okay. Get back on your pivot. Get back on your pivot. That you were. That you were. That you. Oh. Just show them how you normally fight. This is how he say he normally would fight. Okay? Let me get back. I want you to change that. Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Okay. If I can't recognize it, I can't minimize it. Okay? Remember that. If I can't recognize where you're making a mistake, I can't minimize it. And altogether, dismantle it altogether. Because I'm not going to allow you to remain with something that can be detrimental to you. Now. I want you to get back in your stance that you say you normally fight. This is a set he normally fight in. He normally fight like this, right? right. Now, if I was told to clean this court off, it's not what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, but I have to ask why I'm doing it. Because once I learn why I'm doing it, I can know the easy, easy cut in getting it done. I know what I'm doing, I'm cleaning the court. I was told to clean the court, but why I'm doing it? so that 
people can come out here and play. So that means I don't have to waste a lot of time pulling the weeds out of the cracks. Okay? Because I know why I'm doing it. What's the purpose of doing all that when you say they just need a clear area to play in? So I just cleaned the court. I left the little weeds and stuff. You ain't going to strain at that because the court cleaned. I know why I was doing it. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you, why you have a set like that and have it been working for you? Get back in your style. I want to question you why you're in that style. I feel like Put your set up. All right. Now you tell me. What's the purpose for you being in that set? I want you I mean, to keep that set up and talk to me from your set. I want your set to talk to me. Keep it up. Like, usually when I fight like this, like, like how you say with people that move their head a lot, I move my head a lot. Uh -huh. And when I, when I can, well, well, I like to get in a little bit. I got, I got okay. a little now, You know what I'm saying? I want to see how he operates from his set. You can't train a man or teach a man and take something away from a man without giving a man something or without being humble enough to see what he have. Okay? So I want to see what he have. You see how Brother Ken say, do you think that's too, too wide? And I said, well, you must be thinking it's too wide. Then get it, get right. He got right. He got in the position that I was going to put him in. So I didn't have to, you understand? But he didn't start out like that. He started out with his right. He had his power punch in the front. Now, I want you to get back in the set that you know. I want you to throw a jab from here, which is that one. Here. Now, see? Throw it again. I want you to put the camera down at his feet. Throw it again. Throw it again. Oh, shit. See? Man, way it. over here. <laughs> and he came up like this up. Oh, no, you like this up. If you got to come up, you already lifted, man. Yeah. Ain't no, ain't, ain't, I don't have to do too much to take you to heaven. Because you already off the ground. I just need to work you on down and chop you down. You feel what I'm saying? Now, in your stance again. Throw a hook. Now, he would have broke his thumb and his index finger. Cause he throw the hook like this, and he hit with this. See how your wrist is flexible? So since your wrist is flexible, like this is easy to break. So you want to take your wrist like this here, cuff it, cuff it, and pull him, pull him to you. <clears throat> okay? okay. All right. Now, I want you to see your right hand. I mean your left hand. Throw your left hand. See? He throw his left hand. But that's his power. I mean, it's, that's his weak hand, really. Cause he right-handed, and he throw it like he had to come like this. You see? All right. Now I want you to swing around, y'all, and look at his chin. Go ahead. His chin is direct. Now stay right there where you at. I don't got it set out the way. Meaning he he, he left me open. Boom. It's already up. His chin up. Chin supposed to be tough. That's your button. I'm trying to get to that button. At certain points that I could get to, I could beat you from here and make you put these down. I could beat you from here to make you drop these and anticipate the punch and you thinking I'm coming back to your body when I'm now giving you all head shots. Okay? Now, I want to put, do your mind.